SCI, the Schistosomiasis Control Initiative, was started in 2002, uh, established in Imperial College with a very generous grant from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Schistosomiasis is a parasitic worm. It lives in the blood vessels of uh, millions and millions of people. Over 200 million people in Africa are estimated to be infected. The parasite is actually waterborne, so people get infected by going into fresh water in Africa, which contains snails. However, we are very fortunate we have a drug. We only have one drug, it's called Praziquantel, and it only has to be given once, and it will clear the body of most of the worms that are there. Prior to the year 2000, there were very little treatment programs, if any, in sub-Saharan Africa in particular because this is one of the many neglected tropical diseases. It was scandalous, really, when the cost of the drug plus the delivery was uh, approximately uh, 50 cents. So for $100, 200 people could be treated. However, 200 million people needed to be treated, which basically meant we needed $100 million a year if we were really effectively going to reach out. Ethiopia has a population of 90 million people and before 2013 not one of them had been treated for schistosomiasis with a government-led program. But the government in 2013 recognized the extent of the problem. They collaborated with us to actually map the whole country for the prevalence and intensity of schistosomiasis and intestinal helminths. We have managed to uh, establish treatment programs in 18 countries in Africa. I have to say that uh, in order to qualify, particularly at the beginning of our program, uh, we had to have political commitment. So we had to convince the ministers of health and ministers of education of the value of the treatment programs. And the truth is that many of them didn't really know very much about this disease because it's very much a disease of the poorest people, the poorest of the poor. SCI's role and ambition is to see anybody who is infected with schistosomiasis or at risk of schistosomiasis receiving uh, a free drug, praziquantel, which will cure them. How do we do that? First of all, we have to uh, have available in our hands the drugs that we can pass over to the Ministry of Health uh, as a gift so that they will deliver it. The Ministries of Health themselves do the necessary work. It's their program. Yes, we facilitate it. We give them the money that's needed to deliver the drugs down the last mile to the schools in the remote areas. Uh, we provide them with educational material and the other materials that they need in order to deliver the drugs. But it's their program. We've been able to exponentially increase the number of treatments thanks to, first of all, a convincing of the American and the British governments who followed on from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, who realized the value and the cost efficiency of a treatment program against schistosomiasis. And the second thing that followed on from that was the convincing of a pharmaceutical company to actually donate the drugs which previously we had been purchasing. We now have at our disposal enough drug every year to treat 100 million children every year and uh, the effect of delivering those drugs is going to be amazing in terms of the quality of life of all the school-aged children in Africa. We had a target of 25 million treatments last year and we hit it. This year we're hoping to expand further and reach out to 40 million. If we can, um, if we can move forward like that year on, year on, uh, and um, improve the quality of life of more and more children every year, what could be more satisfying? Mm -hmm.